OCI file storage service is now VMware certified. It provides a durable, scalable, secure, and enterprise grade network file system. With this capability, you can create a shared file system in the Oracle Cloud using the file storage service and extend the VMware SDDC storage capacity by adding the NFS data stores backed by the OCI file system. Let us look at this high level diagram to understand the network communication between ESXi host and OCI file system. As you can see, the subnet TMM SDDC01, which is the provisioning subnet for VMware SDDC. In this demo, I will deploy the file system mount target in the same provisioning subnet that ESXi hosts are using for the management purpose. Log into the Oracle Cloud Console and click on the hamburger menu on the top left side. Go to Storage, select the file system from the File Storage section. From here, click on Create File System. By default, this workflow creates a new file system with a default file export and the mount target. So let us go ahead and edit the setting for each one of these. Under the file system section, click on edit details, provide the file system name, select the appropriate availability domain and compartment. And similarly, let us also edit the file export detail. As you can see, by default, the file export name is the same as file system name. So in my case, I will rename this file export to dsdav. Now let us go ahead and ensure that the mount target is deployed in the right VCN so that VMware SDDC can access the same. Click on the edit detail, select the option, create new mount target, provide the mount target name, select the VCN, and while selecting it, please make sure that you are choosing the same VCN where VMware SDC is deployed at. Select the subnet, and in this case, I am using the default provisioning subnet that the ESXi hosts are using for the management purpose. Wait for the job to complete, and you can see that the file system is ready to be used. Next, we will create an NFS data store that will use the OCI file system that we have recently created. Click on the file system, select the export, Click on the mount command and grab the mount details such as mount target IP, which is the endpoint through which you will communicate with the file system and the export folder detail. Now log into the vCenter server, right click on the cluster, go to storage, click on new data store and select the NFS as the data store type. The folder path is the export path and the server detail is the mount target IP address that you have received from the mount command. Click next, select all the three ESXi host and finish the execution. Now you can see NFS DS dev01 is created and accessible across all the three ESXi host in the VMware SDTC. Thank you for watching this demo. Please visit Oracle Cloud Tech Zone space for more.